right, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen, and it is Amazon Prime Day. Yes, this is when you get your deals, okay? This is when you shop for your larger ticket items. This is when you shop for your click and saves, when you want to just click on something, get a discount, and do the annual, it was a subscription, so you can save more money, and it automatically just shifts to you. You can pick your day, your time, your month. This is when you buy the thing. Okay, so I went on Amazon. I was looking this morning to see what all was on sale, and I was like, okay, my page, my landing page was lit because it looks like they're like on an algorithm too, where they kind of bring up stuff you purchased before, things that are items that are similar to your purchases, and things you've searched. Okay, I have a bunch of stuff that's in my like wish list or buy later list. You know, how you go, you can see your checkout, then underneath it, it has everything else to save for later. This is the time. All right, so people always ask me about tribe signs. Is it worth it? How heavy is the um, actual furniture pieces or whatever? So today I'm going to highlight tribe signs when it comes to Amazon because they are on Amazon and they are actually on sale. So if you're interested in saving some coins on any of these bookshelves that you've seen me actually put together in the past, any items that you see on Amazon, girl, it's a deal going on. I actually uh, received a new cabinet for my bathroom. I've been telling y'all I've been trying to go room by room and just like revamp the house and just kind of get it in order. Holiday season's coming up. I plan on having company over and it's just time, right? Now, originally I wanted to paint this bathroom that, I am, <laughs> that I'm in. But I painted it a couple of years ago. I just don't feel like repainting it. So all I did was wipe down walls, clean up baseboards, empty the trash, had Tara clean up the trash, like basically clean the mirror and everything and just call it a day. This is the bathroom that I told you all I want the mirror, like the one that's in my be my bedroom mirror, my, um, my master bathroom with the light. This is the bathroom I want that mirror in. So um, hopefully I can go ahead and order that soon with the backlight and put one in here as well. But for right now, it just has like the regular schmegler, what do you call it? Like um, the normal fixture light type of situation when you get into like a, um, a baseline home, right? So anyway, I received a cabinet and I was like, here I go again, putting more stuff together. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna be queen to fix it and put it together for 2023. I just saw it, I opened it up, I laid all the pieces on the ground according to like how it was supposed to be stacked and put together. And with all the screws, nuts and bolts, I was like, okay, focus, we got this. How long is this going to take? So it didn't take but about 35, maybe 40 minutes. And only because I, I just, y'all, this the doors for me. I do this every time. It's those doors trying to pull them out, screw them up. And it's this. I tell y'all all the time, I don't know why I put these nails on. No one, they got little screws and I got to hold a screw and do it. Yeah, so it's it's not them. <laughs> it's not the directions this time. It's me. But anyway, I went ahead and put it together. It didn't take long at all to put it together, cleaned it up. It was kind of dusty because I had laid out on the floor for a couple of days until I got like tired of procrastinating uh -huh, and I put it together for you. So it's all good now. Originally when I saw it online, they have one also in white. But I didn't want white because I didn't want to go with white colors because they get dirty. It's going to be in the bathroom. I know when it comes to my kids and like hair dye or just makeup or anything like that, I just want to make sure we kept the stain free. And if it did get a stain, I didn't want you to be able to see it. Okay. So I went with the black color with the gray front. I figured also I wanted to go with this color because this is very popular on Amazon. And people always want to know what does it really look like. How heavy really is it and how big is it for real? So I'm going to put the dimensions on the screen right here. It's pretty big. Like I can see this. Like for those who love my um, bedside tables, I want to say it's taller than that. <laughs> and this is perfect. If you have one of those big high beds and you've been looking for like a nightstand with the cabinet doors or whatever, this is it. This is it. So y'all talk about my nightstands and how big it is and the depth and how, you know, I'm able to store so much in them. This is it. 
So you can use this like as a shoe cabinet, like or an entryway cabinet, like in your home, when you first walk in your home and you want something like a bowl, drop your keys, throw your shoes in the cabinet. You can use this as nightstands. You can put two together and make your entertainment system three and make you a large wall entertainment system for your for those who have like over 70 inch TVs. This will be perfect for that. You'll be able to store all your goodies in there, like your cords, your, your speakers, your um, um, like anything to do with your TV stuff, you know, remotes, everything. You can store like me. I have like some candles and some goodies in here. I'm about to get into it in a minute. But I just want to give you like, you know, just a little tidbit of what you can use this for. Because I've seen these all over the internet. And I just couldn't tell what gray this was. So what you see on here is literally like basically what you see in person. This is a beautiful like tone gray. It looks like wood tone with like accents of like... With wood grain, wood grain. <laughs> I saw some handles at Hobby Lobby that I want for this cabinet, so I'm gonna get those and put those on here because I want them to kind of match what I got going on. So right now I don't have any handles on here. So let's get into the cabinet and what I decide to use it for. When I got the cabinet and I saw how heavy the doors were and I saw how solid the base was and it's on legs, I was like. This would have been perfect for the living room. Like, me personally, I would have used this like a buffet. Two or three, a nice coffee bar, or just a buffet where you store like your nice dishes, your cup towels, all the good things, and all the things you need for your holiday, like celebrations. For those who like to like store that type of stuff, your cups, your, um, like your more expensive dishes, like your wedding set and all that. Yeah, but you don't want open glass cabinets. You just want to store it and no one actually really see it. This would be perfect as a buffet. Two of these together? I'm just saying. Anyway, so I decided to put it in my bathroom. I knew I was going to refresh the bathroom, like I said, and I wanted someone to store the items that go in the bathroom. Originally, we had this little rinky-dink, like, little thing with some baskets, and it just was not working for us. I wanted the kids or whoever came over to be able to open this up and access whatever they need. So I made sure I put some cleaning products in here so that if for some reason they need to like refresh in the toilet or the sink, they can, okay? I want to make sure we had like um, some spray for the bathroom as well. So, you know, people feel comfortable spraying, right? I wanted to make sure we had like soap, hand soap if we run out. We can just have some right here, some lotion. People are always asking me when they come over for my perfumes and my lotions anyway. But I know a lot of times in the morning when the kids are running out the door, they're always coming in here to, to spray body spray or something, grab some lotion, and they always leave it like on this little bitty stand. It's full of like stuff up there. So instead of me fussing all the time, saying, hey, get the stuff on my bathroom. Hey, you different stuff in the bathroom. I'm just going to leave it here. So that way they can have some body care items out here and it just stays here. So we have like some lotions from Bath and Body Works they like. We have another like um, coconut lotion that is more of a cruelty free type of lotion for a different option, right? And then we have some body sprays and they're all like different types of scents. So if someone do feel like they would like to use a body spray, they won't say anything in this cabinet. So I also have a basket here that I decide to use for like extra stuff. People always ask for toothpicks, floss, that type of thing, extra toothbrush, extra toothpaste. If someone comes over, they don't have one, they need one, that type of thing. I want this to be like the backup station area. You see what I'm saying? Because the cabinet doors are closed. You can't see in it. It's protected from particles in the air, right? And the doors are closed and we're good to go. I also want to store toilet paper in here as well. So we're not, hey, bring me some toilet paper, that kind of thing. It's right here for access, right? So if you have a nice enough, large enough size bathroom, this is perfect for that too. If you want to store like that type of thing, like your towels and all that stuff. And you don't want open shelving like I have in my bathroom. Like I told you all before, my master bathroom, I do not have a linen closet. So I opted for the open shelving for all my like products and stuff for bath, right? And then I have two drawers that I have that is for like sanitary napkins, um, razors, and that type of stuff. But I like the open shelving because I like the open concept in the glass. I like looking at stuff sometimes. But for like a small bathroom like this where it's small and closed, I start to go for a book style, bookshelf style. But like I said, my kids like to bring stuff down. 
And instead of fussing about seeing it all over the place, just put it in the cabinet and close the door. Just put, put it in the fabric and close the door. Just, just keep it simple. So like I said, we keep toilet paper in here as well. And then there's plenty of open shelving for anything else we want to do. So I did purchase a few more towels for the uh, rack in here to hang up for like hand towels to dry your hands when you wash your hands. So I just figured I would go ahead and just put the extra backup towels in here as well. So um, yeah, that's basically it when it came to this cabinet. Like I said, um, this cabinet is also known as a shoe cabinet. So for those who don't wear shoes in the house like us, we just take our shoes off and we have like a mat at the front door or we just carry them upstairs to the, uh, the bedrooms. Dirty shoes go in the garage, basically, like dirty, okay? So it's too beautiful <laughs> to me for a shoe cabinet. Like this is beautiful. Now, if you have a bougie closet, friend, and you want to juice up your closet, I can see this juicing up your closet, okay? But for the most part, I think that this is perfect in this bathroom. It's a little bit larger than what I assumed it was when I was reading. I was trying to measure in here. So there's still room. Like, there's still room to sit on the toilet, move around. Like, I still have room. So if I sit back in the toilet, this is where I am. So I still have room. You, you see what I'm saying? Um, I doubt if anybody's sitting on the toilet playing in the cabinet. But even if you're sitting here, you can open the cabinet right hitting your knees. So I thought that was perfect. Now, all I did in here to zhuzh it up a little bit, like I said, was we cleaned up the bathroom really well. I just added a little bit of decor on the top. Originally, I had like this bowl with the green balls, but I feel like it was just too green. Um, we not we're doing, we don't, I don't want to carry green into here. So I just went with the horse head. Y'all know I love my horse head. Plus, I'm trying to do something different in my living space, but that's my big, huge, huge project I'm working on. And it's going to cost me. So I'm just taking my time to um, style my shelves along with the furniture pieces I'm trying to purchase as well. So I just kind of like using what I already have around the house and I put the horse head here. I also added a candle I picked up. It's a beautiful scented candle from Ross. Okay. I have my acrylic tissue holder. I will find one on Amazon. Look it down below if I can. I know they have them in black. They have them in leather and brown. And I've seen them in acrylic too, but I love just the clearer like look. I don't like to see the tissue boxes with all the colors on them. So I think that's perfect. You can grab a tissue on the way out. And I actually thought about putting the napkins in there instead of tissues. But what I might do is purchase a second one. Leave it down here like when it's time for guests. And if you have guests over, then you pull that one out for like napkins to dry their hands. Instead of using the same hand towel, right? It's kind of nasty. And then put the tissues up or something like that. So I might do that. Um, but other than that, on the other side where the toilet is, it's just a toilet, like it's the water closet, right? Basically, it's a small half bath. And I just have this cute little um, thing. I just have like a faux plant in it because there's no light in here. So like I can put the plant and then a picture on the wall. Really that simple, a towel. And like I said, one of those factory mirrors. I would love to have the ones with the backlit light in here one day. But for right now, this is just a small touches that make a huge impact like it's more function over like design for me I'm huge on everything having a place and I'm huge on everything functioning in each space like I don't want to just have stuff I want I want to have things for a reason and it serves purposes for us so for us this is actually a cabinet <laughs> that houses what we need. Okay, so I have some extra candles in here as well. So if it comes to a point where one candle is burning out or it's time to change the candles for a season, I just have some options for like more bathroom style like type of scented candles. I have um, in the past had several extra wax warmers like from the Bath & Body Works. What do they call them? The scent warmers. I, um, I don't have any extra right now. Otherwise, that, that'll be another place where I would throw them in a basket for backup as well. That's on the shelves in this uh, cabinet. So let me know what you think about my cabinet frame. Let me know what you're buying on Amazon. Actually, on the pinned comments, I'm going to put the information for this cabinet as well as whatever I can find for the other cabinets that are upstairs, like my big, huge not cabinets, my big, huge bookshelves, and the ones in my kitchen. I've gone online on Amazon. I've seen so many people click my link for those bookshelves. I've had several people email me for the bookshelves that's in my kitchen to tell me, oh my God, I can't believe they're this heavy. I keep telling y'all, <laughs> these shelves are heavy. Like the price you're paying for that industrial shelf is ridiculous. Like you're winning. That shelf is heavy, and it just feels like lifetime heavy. You know what I mean? 
very sturdy, can hold a lot of weight. And so that's how I feel about this. I feel like this is sturdy and like it, it can last in a move. So me and my friends always say this, can it last in a move? Cause you know, it never fails from certain stores, you would buy furniture, you'll move and by the time you get to the new spot, it's broken. And it, the question always is, can it last to remove? I just really have come to terms with seeing other designs on YouTube and Instagram and Pinterest and loving them from afar, but realizing that whatever I do when it comes to design, it has to function for me. I like when things flow, when they function, and when I'm able to use it for a Another purpose besides just looking at it. Like I want it to be beautiful, but it, it has to do something for me. <laughs> so this does a lot. Like I could store all kind of stuff in here if I needed to, but then I'm not. I'm just going to keep it simple. Bathroom stuff, keep it simple and call it a day. So let me know what you think about this cabinet. Have you ever seen, I know you've seen them on Amazon. If you've been on Amazon, you see this cabinet because baby, it thing floats around. I've seen it. And this is the time to get it. I'll put the link down below. Make sure you check it out. Amazon Prime sale is for the 10th and 11th. So this will run on sale for 10th and 11th. I will check the prices for the bookshelves. Or at least try to put the link for you all. It's funny how y'all email me out the blue sometime. And I won't even be expecting it, right? Because I don't know y'all like that, right? I don't know you went online and ordered a bookshelf and put it together. But one lady emailed me and was like, oh my God. I got home from work and it's the biggest box at my doorstep. But I'm thinking, yo, that's the bookshelf. Like, I don't think y'all really get it how huge some of these items are because the camera doesn't do it any justice. So it just feels good to be able to put these pieces together, show you in real time, in real life, what they look like and if they're worth it or not. Now, this is one company I've worked with all year and part of last year. And I enjoy them thoroughly. They're, they're good quality pieces and... I've never had anything to be delivered to me broken or pieces missing or something that was just extremely difficult to put together. Like everything came with directions and it was easy to um, put together and go, especially the bookshelves. That's, that's my favorite anyway. So I just love the fact that it's heavy and it just feels like good solid like material. Kudos to Tribe Signs for this. I appreciate y'all for sending this out to me. Thank you so much. I'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Make sure you check Amazon for all of their deals. In the pinned comments, I will put the link to this actual cabinet, like I said, and everything else. Down below, underneath the pinned cabinet. Pay attention. Pay attention. It's going to be a quiz. No, I'm just playing. If there's anything on Amazon that you think any of us need to know about because it's a deal. I'm talking about a deal, Prime Day deal, a coupon at checkout. Put it under the pinned comments so we can share it with everyone, okay? And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Peace and blessings.